What are the methods of variable compression? We know that variable compression engine is an engine whose compression ratio can be varied according to the change in load and efficiency requirements. There are different methods by which variable compression is achieved. Moving the cylinder head, variation of combustion chamber volume, variation of piston deck height, moving the crankshaft axis, con rod linkages. Let us discuss them one by one. Moving the cylinder head. The moving head concept combines head and liners into a monoblock construction, which pivots with respect to the remainder of the engine. That enables a tilting motion to adjust the effective height of the piston crown at TDC. The linkage serves to tilt the A mono head relative to the crankcase in order to vary the TDC position of the piston. Note that by means of actuator and linkage mechanism, the compression ratio can be varied from 8 to 14. Variation of combustion chamber volume. In order to vary the combustion chamber volume, a secondary piston or valve is used. The piston could be maintained at an intermediate position corresponding to the optimum compression ratio for a particular condition. The combustion chamber volume is increased to reduce the compression ratio. By moving a small secondary piston or valve which communicates with the chamber. Variation of piston deck height. The Daimler-Benz VCR piston design shows variation in compression height of the piston and offers potentially the most attractive route to a production VCR engine. Since it requires relatively minor changes to the base engine architecture when compared to the other options. Moving the crankshaft axis. In this method, crankshaft bearings are carried in an eccentrically mounted carrier that can rotate to raise or lower the top dead center positions of the pistons in the cylinders. The compression ratio is adjustable by varying the rotation of the eccentric carrier. Con rod linkages. A popular approach has been developed to replace the conventional con rod with a two-piece design in which an upper member connects with the piston while a lower member connects with the crankshaft. The shorter crank throw a loud room which was anchored by an eccentric rotary actuator. Thus we can summarize as